Good day, grade 7 learners! Today, we will tackle about estimating square roots. After going through this module, you are expected to estimate the square root of a whole number to the nearest hundreds. I am Teacher Mika and I will be with you for this another Mathenic episode. Before we start, kindly prepare your module, your pen and paper, to write your solutions and answers as we progress with our discussion. Also, look for a place in your home where you feel comfortable and safe. And most importantly, prepare yourself to watch and listen carefully. On our previous discussion, you have learned about principal roots and irrational numbers. Now, let's check your prior knowledge. Find the principal root of each number and tell whether it is rational or irrational. You may pause this video while answering. Letter A, square root of 25. Letter B, square root of 64. Letter C, square root of 169. Letter D, square root of 77. And letter E, square root of 444. Are you done? Let's check your answers. For letter A, the principal root of square root of 25 is 5, which is rational. Did you get it right? Letter B, the principal root of square root of 64 is 8, which is also rational. Letter C, the principal root of square root of 169 is 13, which is rational. Letter D, 77 is not a perfect square, so the principal root of square root of 77 is between 8 and 9. And if we will use a calculator, the answer is 8.774964 and so on, which is irrational. And letter E, 444 is also not a perfect square. So the principal root of square root of 444 is between 21 and 22. And if we will use a calculator, the answer is 21.071307 and so on, which is irrational. I hope you got all the answers right. From the activity done, you were able to name two consecutive integers where the square root of an irrational number lies. But how about if you were tasked to find the estimate value of the given square roots that are not perfect squares without using a calculator? What are you going to do? That is where our lesson for today will come into play. Let's have some examples. Estimate each square root to the nearest hundreds. Letter A, square root of 7. Letter B, square root of 44. And letter C, square root of 125. Obviously, these examples are not perfect squares, thus their principal roots are irrational numbers. And when we say irrational numbers, we are talking about non-terminating and non-repeating decimals. With that, we will find the estimated value of their principal roots using series of estimation. In this case, we will estimate each square root or principal root up to the nearest hundreds. Note that the place value of the first digit after the decimal point is what we call tenths, and the next place value after tenths is hundreds. 
Now we will start with example letter A. Step number one. Find the two consecutive perfect square integers between which the given number lies. Since 7 is not a perfect square, its principal root is irrational. So we need to find the two perfect square integers between which 7 lies. These are 4 and 9. Therefore, square root of 7 lies between square root of 4, which is 2, and square root of 9, which is 3. Step number 2. Make an educated guess to one decimal place and try it. Since 7 is closer to 9 than 4, we can say that the square root of 7 is closer to 3 than 2. We then square numbers closer to 3 with one decimal place. These are 2.5 square, which is equal to 6.25. 2.6 squared is equal to 6.76. 2.7 squared is equal to 7.29 and 2.8 squared is equal to 7.84. From here, we can say that the square root of 7 lies between 2.6 and 2.7. Step number 3. Decide which is closer. Since 7 is closer to 6.76 compared to 7.29, we will now use 2.6 for further estimation to hundreds place by squaring the numbers 2.61, 2.62, 2.63, 2.64, and 2.65. Let's observe. Notice that 7 is closer to 7.0225 compared to 6.9696. Meanwhile, 7.0225 is the square of 2.65. Hence, square root of 7 is 2.65 when estimated to nearest hundreds. Example letter B. Square root of 44. Step number 1. Find the two consecutive perfect square integers between which the given number lies. Since 44 is not a perfect square, its principal root is irrational. So, we need to find the two perfect square integers between which 44 lies. These are 36 and 49. Therefore, square root of 44 lies between square root of 36, which is 6, and square root of 49, which is 7. Step number 2. Make an educated guess to one decimal place and try it. Since 44 is closer to 49 than 36, we can say that the square root of 44 is closer to 7 than 6. We then square numbers closer to 7 with one decimal place. These are 6.5 squared which is equal to 42.25, 6.6 squared which is equal to 43.56, 6.7 squared, which is equal to 44.89. From here, we can say that the square root of 44 lies between 6.6 .6 and 6.7. Step number 3. Decide which is closer. Since 44 is closer to 43.56 compared to 44.89, we will now use 6.6 .6 for further estimation to hundreds place by squaring the numbers 6.61, 6.62, 6.63, and 6.64. Let's have a look. Notice that 44 is closer to 43.9569 compared to 44.0896. Meanwhile, 43.9569 is the square of 6.63. Hence, square root of 44 is 6.63 when estimated to nearest hundreds. And lastly, example letter C, square root of 125. Step number 1. Find the two consecutive perfect square integers between which the given number lies. Since 125 is not a perfect square, its principal root is irrational. So we need to find the two perfect square integers between which 125 lies. 
These are 11 and 12. Therefore, square root of 125 lies between square root of 121, which is 11, and square root of 144, which is 12. Step number 2. Make an educated guess to one decimal place and try it. Since 125 is closer to 121 than 144, we can say that square root of 125 is closer to 11 than 12. We then square numbers closer to 11 with one decimal place. These are 11.1 squared, which is equal to 123.21. 11.2 squared, which is equal to 125.44. We'll stop at 11.2 because 125.44 already exceeded our target, which is 125. From here, we can say that square root of 125 lies between 11.1 and 11.2. Step number 3. Decide which is closer. Since 125 is closer to 125.44 compared to 123.31, we will now use 11.2 for further estimation to hundreds place by squaring the numbers 11.15, 11.16, 11.17, 11.18, 11.19. 11 Let's have a look. Notice that 125 is closer to 124.9924 compared to 125.2161. Meanwhile, 124.9924 is the square of 11.18. Hence, square root of 125 is 11.18 when estimated to nearest hundreds. Congratulations grade 7 learners! You did great in watching and listening. Now, try answering the following questions for your practice. You may ask the help of your math teacher to check your answers. Estimate each square root to the nearest hundreds. Number 1. Square root of 263 Number 2. Square root of 73 Number 3. Square root of 40 Number 4. Square root of 110 and number 5 square root of 23. That ends our lesson today. See you on our next Matinic episode. Keep safe!